Today's children and teenagers are growing up in a world that is increasingly fast-paced and competitive. So what impact is this having on their stress levels? We welcome educator and author of the book Raising Stress Proof Kids, Shelley Davido. Good morning. Good morning, Good to have you here. How Thank much you. more stressed do you reckon kids of today are to previous generations? Well, a US psychologist said recently that today's teenagers have about the same stress level as a psychiatric patient in the 1950s. Really? So it's it's pretty extreme, and um, yeah, and a friend of mine who's a physician in New Zealand said that 80% of his practice is stress related. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow! Stressed and and parents. and how much of that would be kids? Like increasingly, he would be seeing more and more more and more young kids. people. Yeah. yeah. So what sort of implications does stress have on well, teens in particular? I I guess. Yeah. But younger kids as well. Yeah, very much. I mean, you you can see it in in sort of anxiety disorders and depression, and yep. you can see how they they stop coping. You know, meltdowns, all that kind of thing. That's all stress related. Are we as parents, as adults, guilty of putting our stresses? onto them? Yes, and absolutely. What, and how do we do it? How, do we, well, how are we doing that? <clears throat> we goad and push and cajole our children towards finish lines and outcomes based anything. So whether it's horse riding or, you know, um, schoolwork or whatever, it's always got to have some outcome. And so our kids are just on this treadmill, the same one that we're on. And often, I guess, well, in some circumstances, they're trying to please the parent as opposed to absolutely. making themselves actually happy and in what they're doing. What yeah. would be your advice in, in a parent that is pushing their child, perhaps for the parent's own glory as opposed to the yeah. child doing yeah. well itself? What would be your advice to how to back off a bit? I would say slow down. Mm. Brain development is a very, very slow process. We're only fully mature as adults in, you know, the third decade of life, so by the time we're 30. Yep. So expecting a four-year-old to read and perform well and you know, academically succeed is just, you know, just let them climb trees and walk along balance beams. And I feel like that was unheard of in generations gone by, yeah. the parents that do that. But these days it's it's certainly alive and well, yeah. eh? Yeah. I think it's well meaning. Kids. Yeah, it's, it's well meaning, but it's misguided because we think, okay, if they succeed academically, then they'll be rich and then they'll be ultimately happy. Yeah. And, you know, it, what's, your, what's your take on the, just on the school system as, as such and the pressure that kids, as they yeah. work themselves, you know, toward college, how much pressure they are facing? Yeah, it's quite extreme and a lot of teen suicide happens because they just, teens just can't cope with the idea of failure. And so we've got our kids on the stress freeway and that's what I'm talking about in the book, yeah. you know, raising stress-proof kids, get yeah. the kids off the stress freeway and let them just be children. How much is technology impacting all this? A lot. Mm. We have... Um, we but ha it is the way of the future, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we've got to work out, we've got to work a balance. We have to have a balance and also we have to know that our youngest children, when they're involved in like little on online games or mm. screen games, their whole nervous systems are being primed for fight or flight, even with just a little game. So I would say if little kids didn't have any technology, yep. no loss. But, but often these days it is the it becomes like the surrogate nanny, you know? It like you, you, you don't take your kid somewhere to, to a cafe or something without taking it, yeah. because without, without taking some sort of device or whatever yeah. in order to entertain that child. And I, I wonder whether little ones are sort of missing out on those vital skills of learning how to just entertain yeah. themselves or behave. Yeah, and know? be in the environment. Yeah. Yeah, so I think when we lose when we lose sight of the fact that little kids just need to be playing and we've got them on their iPads and everything, we have to just acknowledge this is for our benefit so we can get a break. Mm, it doesn't mm. really do anything for them. This is probably a prime time to ask this question, given that we're in the middle of the school holidays at the yes. moment. You say in the book, let kids be bored. Let yes. them know what it's like to be bored. And if they're ever going to say it, it's, it's often in the holidays, isn't it? I'm bored, I'm bored. what can I do? I know. And I don't know why that strikes such fear into our hearts. Maybe we think because if it we let them... It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a failure. Yeah. failure. So what but do you do when they say that? I just say, well, it's fantastic to be bored. It's awesome because out of boredom comes creativity, innovation, and all kinds of things. You don't. You need time to yeah. come up with those great ideas. Yeah. So much good info in there. Thank you very much for Thank stopping you. by. Thank Excellent you, Jeanette. Food for thought. Brilliant. For more information about Shelley's book, Raising Stress Proof Kids, just head to our website for the link. Still to come, does your household rack up huge internet bills? Our Vodafone prize could put paid to that. And he's just released his debut album, Kiwi Muso Ukiah Brown, is in our stage next.